I don't even believe how good this actually sounds. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm covering the basics of Bluetooth LE audio and why it will be a game changer for hearing aids, earbuds, and headphones. All right, let me quickly get you up to speed by briefly explaining what Bluetooth is and where it came from. Bluetooth was developed as a way to help small wireless devices communicate with each other using an ultra high frequency shortwave radio connection at 2.4 gigahertz. Bluetooth was actually named after Harold Bluetooth, who was the king of Denmark and Norway from 1958 to 1986. Based on the idea that this technology would unite wireless devices the same way that King Bluetooth was able to unite all the different tribes of Denmark into one kingdom. The Bluetooth logo is quite literally a combination of Harold Bluetooth's initials H and B from an old Scandinavian alphabet. Bluetooth version 1.0 was released back in 1999, but it has received multiple updates with version 5.0 being released in 2016. Since 2016 we have also seen updates to version 5.2 and most recently version 5.3. What you may notice is that a distinct feature of version 5.2 is something called LE audio. And the crazy thing is, the hearing aid industry is largely responsible for leading the charge for this new form of Bluetooth. Bluetooth LE audio is a major upgrade over older forms of Bluetooth, including Bluetooth Classic, Bluetooth Low Energy, and the ASHA Bluetooth protocol. Now, LE audio is technically a form of Bluetooth Low Energy, but it uses a completely different codec than any of these older forms of Bluetooth. What is a codec? Well, basically it's a program that compresses data for transmission and decompresses that received data for playback through hearing aids or another pair of wireless earbuds or headphones. Think of it like shrink wrapping all of your clothing that you put into a suitcase when you go on vacation so you can pack more of it. And then when you get to your destination, you basically open up that vacuum sealed package and you have your clothes expand back to their normal size. This new form of LE audio uses a completely new codec called L. C3, which stands for Low Complexity Communication Codec. This is instead of other codecs out there that already exist, and there's a lot of them, but some of the more common ones are A2DP and SBC. Why is this such good news? Because LC3 not only increases the perceived sound quality, but it keeps that sound quality high even at lower data transfer rates, which reduces power consumption. This is critical for devices like hearing aids and wireless earbuds that typically have limited battery life. The latency, or the data transfer delay of the compressed and decompressed audio signal is also much shorter than these older codec versions. Instead of having a latency of around 100 milliseconds for the SBC codec, the LC3 codec will actually get you down to 5 milliseconds, which will improve the user experience for a variety of different applications. Think of it like when you're streaming audio from your TV into your ears. You do not want a long delay of that audio transmission. Otherwise, the voices of the people that you're hearing from the TV are different than their mouth movements. You also get several other benefits of using this Bluetooth LE audio. These include support for multi-streaming and true wireless stereo earbud applications, universal Bluetooth connectivity, and the ability to support broadcast audio called AuraCast. Okay guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And now back to the video. All right, let's talk about multi-streaming capabilities. What I mean by this is that if you're streaming something from your smartphone into your ears using LE audio, then you're gonna be able to share that Bluetooth signal with other people who also have LE audio enabled hearing aids, earbuds, or headphones. One particular application this might come in handy with is that if you're flying on a plane across country and you're watching a movie on your tablet, but you wanna share the audio of that movie that both you and your spouse are watching, you no longer have to split up a pair of earbuds. You can both stream that audio directly into both of your ears at the same time. True Wireless Stereo, abbreviated TWS, means that both your left ear and your right ear will receive a dedicated audio stream. 
This way, you don't have to rely on the audio being routed from one ear to the other ear. This means that one of your ears doesn't have to rely on the other in order for it to receive a signal. As far as universal connectivity is concerned, this is greatly appreciated because currently we have a bunch of devices that are using different forms of Bluetooth than the devices you want to connect them with, which is currently creating a pairing nightmare. This will not be an issue since virtually every Bluetooth device is going to have this new form of LE audio. Not to mention, Bluetooth LE audio will be the same for hearing aids as it will be for other consumer electronic devices like earbuds and headphones like I mentioned earlier, which means that they will all be able to coexist effortlessly. But perhaps the feature that people are most excited about other than the significant improvement in sound quality is something called AuraCast broadcast audio. Just imagine going to a concert, museum, sports bar, church building, movie theater, or live performance theater and being able to stream the audio from that venue directly into your hearing aids or earbuds. AuraCast is going to revolutionize accessibility in public venues, not just for the hard of hearing community, but for individuals with vision loss that need descriptive audio, and individuals with normal hearing who just want better access to different audio streams based on their particular interests. And because this technology will be available to all consumers, not just individuals with hearing loss, I expect the adoption of this broadcast audio technology to be widely adopted much quicker than the telecoil hearing loop technology. I've personally experienced the benefits of this Bluetooth LE audio since it's already worked its way into hearing aids, and I'm telling you, it definitely lives up to the hype. As far as sound quality goes, when I compare the audio quality using Bluetooth Classic or the Asha Bluetooth Protocol when streaming from the Samsung Galaxy S23 into my hearing aids, or even the Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol that Apple uses to stream audio into my hearing aids, LE audio completely blows away all of them. And this is without making any programming changes in the hearing aid software, which means the only thing that I'm comparing is the different Bluetooth codecs. Not to mention, the range and stability of LE audio is much better than these older forms of Bluetooth. Using the exact same hearing aids, I was able to play audio from my phone into my ears and walk outside of my front door, close the door behind me, and walk all the way out to the street without having any issues with the Bluetooth cutting out when using LE audio. On the other hand, the other forms of Bluetooth would start cutting out before I even got to my front door to go outside. The range of Bluetooth LE audio is approximately 200 meters or 220 yards. Compared to Bluetooth Classic version 4.2, which has a range of around 50 meters or 55 yards. And this is without any barriers to block the transmission of that audio, like walls or doors. Honestly, if streaming wireless audio like music, podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube videos, TV audio, or even phone calls is remotely important to you, then you would be crazy to purchase any devices that do not have LE audio. As far as I'm concerned, Bluetooth LE audio is one of the most significant advancements that we have seen inside of hearing aids and other consumer audio products over the course of the past decade. And I'm just really excited that it's here since I posted my first video on Bluetooth LE audio back four years ago. So if you've been waiting patiently all of these years for Bluetooth LE audio to become available, I am happy to say that the wait is finally over.